All right, Sonora, Jay, thank you very much. Yeah, Cody Clemens is a familiar face at the San Angelo Rodeo. You know, you probably find him around a Dodge truck somewhere. Also, the man who drives the Miracle Children around the rodeo arena during the CMN Day at the rodeo. So, he shares what that experience is like. My name is Cody Clements. I work at All American Autoplex here in San Angelo. I've been here almost 17 years as a sales representative. Not only do I sell cars and trucks, but I get to work with the San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo, and my favorite event every year is the Children's Miracle Network on a Sunday afternoon. I get kind of choked up when I talk about the Miracle Network uh, because I've seen so many kids that have been there every year, and what it means to me is, like I was saying, is I get to put a smile on those kids' face and put them in front of over 5,000 people in that arena and then millions of people at home. It's something that these kids get to experience, the joy, and every time I do it, I get choked up about it. But when I'm driving those kids through the arena, you can look up in the stands, and the Miracle Network is one of the only days during the rodeo that you will not have a person sitting down with those kids in the arena in the back of that truck. They'll all be standing and applauding, and they won't have a dry eye. But the kids, they're smiling, laughing, waving. They're having the time of their life, and that's what it's supposed to be about. Back in 2000. 10, I believe it was. Uh, I have an adopted sister. Her name is Crystal Pardue. She has Down syndrome, but she was also diagnosed with leukemia. And one of the best things about it is I got to take her into the arena. Um, not only did I live that part of her life with her and support her and everything else, like I said, I got to put a smile on her face and memories that she'll, they can never be erased. That it was all about those kids that day. Yes, you've got all these amazing animals, amazing athletes and everything else, but none of them care that day. All they care about is what those kids are going through. And luckily, Crystal got to experience that. And she still talks about it to this day. Well, Emma is... She has to be my favorite kid. She, when she comes into my work and everything just to visit at the Autoplex, uh, she takes over the place. She lights up the room. Just Emma. But I've known Emma since she was in diapers when she first started coming up here with her mom. Her dad was my mentor and still is to this day. Her grandfather, I'm sorry, Paul McClure is my mentor. He taught me everything about the business. I've taken it to another level. But Emma has always been that shining deal. I would get in trouble with her mother during Christmas because she would bring Emma up here to see her buddy for Christmas. Well, I'd always have a box of cookies hidden in my desk. Emma didn't even have to ask. She just left her mom, run over to my desk, and she knew where they were at. So me and Emma have a special bond. I've got pictures of me and Emma together. Uh, when we did the Miracle Network two years ago, I believe it was, with Emma in the back of the truck, the year before, she was supposed to do it, but she couldn't do it because she ended up getting sick. And she was upset, and I told her, I said, dude, you don't worry. You're going to ride in the truck. Well, that whole year leading up to when she got to ride in the truck, she would come see me. Hey, well, I'm riding in the truck, ain't I? I said, yes, sweetheart, you're riding in the truck. There's no doubt about it. Uh, it came up to that day and everything else. She met me there pre-show, let me know she was there, wanted to know where she needed to be and when she needed to be there. So we got it all set up. I got her in the back of the truck and everything. She was sitting there with Haley on the toolbox of the pickup. And I said, okay, when Boyd announces, your, the announcer announces your name and I take you in that arena, you start waving as much as you can. You say hi to everybody. We get her in the arena and everything the whole time, and I've seen the videos of it, the whole time she's just sitting there waving, smiling. You can't help but fall in love with Emma. We get done with the show and everything else as we're driving out. She's still waving, still waving and everything. Uh, we get out and everything. I start to get her out of the truck. She goes, my arms are tired. I said, I'm sure they are, but you did an amazing job.